Hey friends, I'm really happy to see you. Today we have a game called Rental, and it's an Animal Crossing style horror game. But this is one that focuses on surrealism, atmosphere, and liminality. This is something different, something special, and I couldn't be more excited to have you guys joining me. Before we get started though, I wanted to share some thoughts with you. If you're going through a period right now where you feel apathetic or empty, like you're just going through the motions devoid of any real happiness or joy, I'd like you to try something for me. Sit down by yourself in a quiet room. I want you to think and reflect and ask yourself, what do you really love doing? And not just what makes you like happy in the moment, but what really fulfills you as a human being. Identify that clearly and make steps to either make that a part of your life every day or move toward it every day. And if you don't know what that is yet, maybe that's even more exciting. There's so many things you haven't tried yet and any one of those things could be that thing that resonates with you. I thought I was someone that didn't enjoy reading and it took one book to change my mind. I've said this in many videos, but self-fulfillment is the quickest way to happiness. I know you can find that. I know you can do great things because the dark period you're in right now, it's gonna pass. It always does. I love you guys and I hope you're safe. With that being said, here is rental. Quick warning before we start playing the game, there's a lot of religious imagery in here, specifically Christian religious imagery, and there's like a couple of jokes, nothing too crazy, but I just wanted to warn you if that does make you uncomfortable, Maybe skip this one, um, but yeah, that's up to you. This is another horror game where I just want to talk about this intro screen, this menu screen. It's somber. It's beautiful. It's creepy. Hopeful, maybe? Or sinister? We don't know yet. Um, I don't know much about this game, but we are going to find out in rental. It's exciting. These definitely look like Animal Crossing characters. Am I? Oh, I can just start. Okay. Well, it's a sunny day and we can hear the seagulls flying by. I wonder if we're close to the ocean. Our car is still running, though. Space bar to talk to our family. This is our mom. The door is open. Could the rental man already be here? Can I talk to a little guy? Yes, I can. Did you want to play with me? That's my brother. So our character's name is Yumi. Okay. What do you think, Yumi? It's not too shabby. Got an achievement for that. <laughs> Speak to the family. So, is this our home? I want to look around a little bit before... I shouldn't stray too far. Okay. I'm under the impression that this game has some secrets to discover. So, I don't want to rush through, you know. I look at these smaller indie games as pieces of art we're kind of experiencing together rather than just, okay, let's get to the scary moments and react to them. That's not really what they're about. They're, there are pieces that people poured their passion into, that people found, you know, creating these experiences self-fulfilling for them, kind of like what we talked about before the video. Our good old Suzuki Carry. So what do we do then? Do I go to this door? I love the... Oh, here goes Big Gaming talking about the lighting again. It does look good, though. It gives the impression of an early morning. You know, when the fog's there. Who closed the door? Hey, open up! But I'm the one inside. It won't open? Well, that's not creepy at all. I mean, my family's still out there. I should find that dental... Rental? Rental man. Oh, these camera angles. Oh, okay. Is that- is everything just gonna say, find the rental man? Yep. What is this, though? Just find the rental man, okay. Hello? Alright, they really don't want me doing anything else other than finding the rental man. Bathroom. 
No. This house is pretty big. So, one of the first things I'm noticing here that would not be in any Animal Crossing game, let alone a Nintendo game, this is the rental man, um, is religious imagery of any kind would definitely not be in an Animal Crossing game, as far as I know. You, did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks, months, I don't even know anymore. Uh, I need to get the keys, my parents are... Forget about your parents, you'll never see them again anyway. Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exercise this cursed place. Wait a minute, what is happening? He's been trapped in this home for months? Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless rental man. But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? Why would a little girl know anything about performing exorcisms? You just need to find the artifacts. It's, um, let me see. Six crosses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. <laughs> Three candles. And then... Where'd he go? What? Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck. So... Wait a minute. Looks like a good place to hide. So wait, is he trapped here or can he teleport? Wonder if 90DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. There's something in the drawer! I found a key! Cool! I wonder where that goes to. Alright, well there's a cross. Right in front of us. Yeah, this is a very... Kind of surrealist, like a it's like a like a dreamscape almost. I can use this to reach high places. Wooden stool. All right. This seems the table is floating. Fair enough. I was wondering if that was a visual glitch earlier, and also what made that sound. Oh god. Oh, this texture looks so meaty. Okay. <laughs> Uh, some random woman with a baby. Is that not the woman behind bars? Okay, let's... What's in here? Oh! Found two candles! I don't feel so well. Yeah, there's something really wrong here. And I like how the game is basically explaining none of it. I think that's great. There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid, too. Okay. Why did we have to say he's ugly? I think that's Mary and Joseph and Jesus, I think. That was just rude. Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. Ah, there's some cross object here. Okay. I am thoroughly creeped out by this environment. No problem here. And those are feet on the top right of our screen. So there is a problem here. What is going on? Guess not. I, I don't... Wait, is there something with this chair? Four chairs, huh? My little brother should eat outside. She's still not worried that there's... a chance she's not gonna see her little brother anymore? What about here? What is this building to? It's not the time to take a nap. Use the key, close, close, another cross. And there's supposed to be a secret room of some kind? Not the time to take a nap, nothing here. What's this? Oh, cute necklace! Oh, I have the necklace on, it's a little cross necklace, okay. So there's a lot of religious imagery in this game. Like, a lot. And there's a figure again, 
in the top left of the screen. Now this guy looks angry enough. Found angry man, that is Jesus. So, just some clothes my dad would wear. It's not the time to take a nap. Not time to take a nap, okay. We went in here already, okay. Yeah, so there's, like, you know, obviously when, you know, we're talking about an exorcism or something, there's going to be religious imagery, but... A woman behind bars, weird taste in decoration. This is a lot. Oh my god. So... You know what's creepy about that? Is all Animal Crossing characters are about the same size. And now we see one... Is this it? Is there nothing over here? We see one that's like way larger than any other kind of Animal Crossing character. Where is he? I didn't see him there. Clothes my dad would wear. Windows look kinda low budget, okay. So... What I don't understand... Is he just popping up randomly now, or should I go back to the first area? Nothing left here. Yeah, so where's the stuff? Random woman with a baby still doesn't work. I found something here. Floating table that makes a disturbing noise. That was the last thing, we need to look Ooh. He's starting to get filled in. Okay, let's... Nothing left here. Where... What do I do for the ritual? Okay, the guy's gone. So where do I perform the ritual then? Oh, there's a door! And now it's first person? Arrive at the labyrinth is the achievement I got? What's the labyrinth? Oh, these are mirrors. Oh. This is so strange. Why is there a labyrinth inside this home? I wonder if this is the secret room the rental guy was referring to earlier. Hello? I see a cross. Oh, over there. Okay. Only two left, so I do... Still need to collect some crosses. And I thought I did, because I was like, I'm pretty sure we don't have all six. Oh god, now the path. I'm gonna get lost here. I'm gonna get lost. I really hope that guy's not here. One left. And that's a mirror. Okay, dead end. Hello? Yeah, something's not right. I I'm getting this, like, really... a deep feeling of dread. It's like this rental house exists outside of reality. Oh, don't tell me this is a dead end. Hi. Stick up my necklace. So where do... I mean, was it that other... 
Oh my god, I, I, I don't even know if I know the way I came. I'm just guessing at this point. Oh dear. Gamers, I am lost. And I need an adult. Everything looks the same. Okay, did we come from this way? Oh, there it is! Found it! Last one! So where do I go? Is this the door? The door is open. Oh! Arrive at the ritual circle, and now it's like... I'm just... putting the stuff on the ground, performing the ritual? And why are there floating stones all around me? Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Okay, everything's placed. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Parika, Purilala, Poparina, Perpetuo. How did we know to say that? Is that the figure we saw in the house? He's huge now. Oh. Hello? Earth to Yumi? Seems like the rental man's not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. We're just saying nothing. Oh, never mind. The door's open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside the house. The end. What? But what was all that? A nightmare? No. Who was that figure? I have so many questions. So the big question is, what is happening with this rental house? And who is that figure? Well, there's clearly a lot left up to the player's interpretation, and it seems that that was, you know, very purposeful by the developer. There's a lot of religious imagery in this game as well, so maybe this is some kind of commentary on religion, or referencing some aspect of Christianity. If it is, I don't know specifically what it would be referencing, and why the rental man seems to be able to phase in and out of the home while also knowing about the exorcism? And then the ending implies that this was all in the main character's head. Well, I mean, that's certainly one explanation, but I feel like there's something deeper going on here, especially with that figure. Whether he uses the rental property as a means to, you know, trap people and take something from them, I have no idea. I would love to hear your theories about the game. There's, there's so much left open here, that I think there's a lot of different ways you could go with this, so... I'm very excited to hear everyone's theories, um, because this one's a head-scratcher. But regardless, I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I will see you in the next one.